Welcome to the bunny yard. Back to the bone yard. We're headed to a little, little farther down the road, or up the road, I guess. We're heading north. Me and Justin, Peyton, Brandon, who don't want to say anything, and Bryson. And we got a wild man and the ridge in the back, and we are headed to Ohio, as you already seen. Go up here to the land of the plenty, getting out of the bone yard a little bit, see if we can't tree a few. Are we going to tree some? Who's going to tree them? Wild man, you think you'll tree him? I sure hope so. All right, boys, y'all ready? Yeah. What about you, Justin? Yeah, boy, he don't say much either. Brandon gets it from his dad. Are you ready to tree one, Brenda? Yeah. Me too, buddy. But they're always finding up like the tree coons. They what? Go in the tree coons? Yeah. Yep. Hope we find a bunch, don't you? I don't know. I hope so, don't you? I hope. Me too. All right, guys. We made one drop so far. The dogs are at the right up right at a mile and uh, it's showing them parts there where they're at so we're going to drive around to them and we couldn't hear them hardly from where we's at so we're going to drive around get a little close and uh hopefully we've got a coon we can show you walking into the first tree of the night been here 20 minutes probably wild man and ridge they they stuck together on this one show you something we don't ever get to see <laughs> it's flat they ain't Hey, one mountain, ain't we're kind of walking in the middle of a cornfield, so I ain't hating it. Well, out in the ridge of trees, you can see these covered with mud. This is where, where he's at, right on the edge of this water here. So, ain't really no good way to see back in it. Circle him up. I guess. We're walking in here to them about a half a mile. Should be an easy walk considering we're on a golf course. Shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too hard of a walk. So we're going to walk in here. Hopefully him and the uh, Ridge and Wild Man's got one. We're going to see. Oh, yeah. Here's Wild Man. He ended up getting two up in, there, up in the tree. Yeah, Right in the middle of my lot. We can't get him to look down at us. And he has another one up there, right, right here beside him. How you feel, buddy? Good. Good. Yeah. You trying to call it down with that tree shaker? Put my legs running. He's up there. As y'all seen on the first one, uh, we went to Ridge and he was slick, but he he treated uh, hard. He was in a he was in a hole in yeah. the first one. Oh, oh yeah, in the first one. He was in a hole in the first one. You seen the seen the hole there? Uh, 
turn we brought them and turned them out again they got pretty deep it's about 800 well it's about 800 yards from us so it's about half a mile close to hush ridge hush he's wanting out of the box right now so we uh we cut them and got in here and they treed we got up here and they were split ridge was probably 30 or 40 yards from uh wild man wild man had two coons in his ridge didn't they? we couldn't find anything in ridges uh it was there was some dead places in it to where a coon could have been that we couldn't have seen but what i'm trying to what i'm starting to figure out is i don't i don't think he really likes to tree with other dogs much Real uh, independent. kind of pretty independent uh, don't don't care to get by himself but he just got to get the coon coon tree apart lined out justin and bryson and brennan are headed back to the truck should be here in just a minute so we just want to give a quick update so far we have we've looked at two coons uh, and a hole and a den. So. Hopefully they got they got one because um and when we was leaving uh wild man went out there and yep. treated, so wild man was hunting them. but I think they were just getting him to bring him back so we'll probably make another turnout or two here in Ohio and see how it goes and hopefully Ridge is starting to figure it out a little bit when we get one up a tree so right. y'all stick with us. Wild man in there. A ridge. We'll see what we got. Here we are. The wild man's tree here. Big den. Okay, put that on your head. Big den tree. Come on. Shine the tree. Check ridges out real quick. Yep, ridge kind of bounced back and forth between this one and the one about 20 feet. And you can see this one's hollow all the way up in it. Yeah. I'd rather be den trees, I guess, than nothing. But well, man, I'd like to see one on the outside. You can see this is a gigantic oh, tree. It's unreal. I'd say it's 20 foot around at the bottom, all the way around it. Over here. Right. When it's... And that's not counting the bottom with the mm -hmm. other part. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't a ton. All the way down in the bottom here. Well, Can't find anything. That's just the way it goes sometimes. The barnyard of came with us already. Yep. That's the way it goes. That is the way it goes. So we're going to get them ahead to the truck. All right, guys. Well, we're getting ready to head home from Ohio. We had we've had an awesome time. We love the walk, love the walking up here, compared to hunting back at the house. But uh, you can see we've wore, wore a little man, a little man eyes a little blurry because ain't no light back there. But we uh, so far the first thing you already seen Ridge had that was in that hole. I don't know if it was a beaver hole. <laughs> I ain't sure what it was, but he uh, he there was something in that he liked. Uh, we cut him again. And uh, Wild Man had two up in one tree. We uh, was able to get one of them. We got one of them out, and uh, Ridge was on a den there, split from him. Uh, then Wild Man went and got in a drain tile. We don't have any video footage of that. I, I don't think, do we? No, no video of that. Just, but there was a there was a coon in back in the drain. I was babysitting. So so we did have that. Cut them again. Both the dogs were on humongous den trees yeah. uh, and we couldn't see anything there so so far we had I guess for, to wrap it up anyway before we get ready to head home we had we looked at two coons or three coons really yeah, three coons. looked at three coons and uh and four dens total so all in all not a bad not a bad night we had a good time a couple hours away from the house so we're getting ready to head back it's about midnight right now so we're gonna head that way thank you for bringing us buddy you're welcome all right, you boys have a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right.
like we always say, y'all keep looking up.